Okay? Is everyone here? Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, it is great for us to be here in Berlin now today to present to you about chasing an open step, a new step forward. And here is some information about us, the speakers. Uh, this is Mr. Uh, Vĩnh Nguyễn Chắc. So hello everyone, and I'm Tovin, and I'm a core reviewer of Open Software in OpenStack, and uh, I'm an organizer of uh, Vietnam OpenStack User Group. And currently, I'm working uh, um, in the uh, Viettel um, Telco in Vietnam. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Hiếu, and uh, I'm also the organizer of uh, official of Vietnam OpenStack User Group. And uh, also the organizer of the uh, OPNFV user group in Vietnam. And uh, right now, <coughs> I'm also the uh, software engineer, uh, especially in, in cloud uh, at Viettel, a uh, telco provider in Vietnam. Uh, and the last one is me. My name is Ian, but you can call me Iris. Uh, I don't. I don't officially work in the field, but I have a huge interest in OpenStack, and I hope that. This is the first time I have ever been to this summit, and I want to learn more about OpenStack, okay? Uh, and here's the agenda of what we are going to talk about in uh, this uh, presentation. The first thing is chasing in OpenStack OS provider. Uh, next is ways to add more uh, to add chase point in OpenStack project. And here uh, next will be the supported driver backends uh, chase databases. And we will also talk about common configurations and store chase with Jagger chasing. And also we also add a demo project, uh, a, a demo presentation and a Q&A session. So um, you can see here, uh, this is a representation, a representation of a uh, tracing in OpenStack uh, with a simple command, OpenStack image lead. I I'm sure that everyone knows that command. And um, you can see here uh, the duration uh, of uh, this uh, request, about 594 and sorry, uh, 24 millisecond. And you can uh, see we can uh, always follow can trace a lot of um, thing here, uh, such as WSGI code, DB code, and uh, is across the service. Uh, keystone glands you can see in uh, this slide. And later on, I will show you some information that uh, a West can, uh, can trace. So, there okay, and here's some information for those who don't know what is a West Profiler. It is a OpenStack uh, library which can be used to uh, analyze service dependency uh, to optimize performance and latency and also it is used to analyze root cause. And some information that OS Profiler provides for user is dependency between OpenStack services, call duration in each service, in each function, in each method, and DB call. And also, it also locks error and exception. And uh, you can see on the slide that we have also provided something that OS Profiler can chase, which are uh, WSGI, HTTP requests, DB calls, and SQL requests. Uh, these requests are usually uh, disabled by the default because it causes a lot of uh, traffic uh, for the user. So, but if you want to chase these requests, you can also turn it on. And uh, also, OS Profiler can chase RPC, RPC calls, and driver call. And in the case of Nova Insider, it can also chase the calls of vendor drivers. And uh, here are some uh, thing, uh, some projects that OS provider has already supported, which are the core projects uh, included uh, Nova, Keystone, uh, Neutron, Cider, and Glance. And also there are some other projects uh, that are Ironic, Glare, Heat, Magnum, June, and some other things you can see on the slide. Yeah. And um, I think um, you guys wonder how OS will work. Uh, you can uh, imagine that um, in OpenStack we have a lot of uh, service such as um, uh, Nova, Keystone, and uh, Cinder. Um, oh, 
I assume that we have a re request uh, travel through open stack service and uh, such as service A, service B, and C. And um, each service will have a function. And a, f a function from service A will call to uh, service B with the function B. And the function B will call service C and function C. And uh, at the end, um, the request uh, will return to uh, the service A and return to uh, the user to get information. And you can see here that I'm routed some trace point. Uh, that's trace point uh, is actually how a web file works. At, at each trace point, uh, a web file collects some information, such as um, um, time consuming from uh, the start to the end of the function, and uh, some argument, uh, even and and uh, re result or results of the function and send to the notifier and store the information in the trade database. You can see um, mm, uh, about the trace point. Uh, we have a lot of uh, way to add trace point to uh, uh, open stack service. Uh, actually, we have five ways, but uh, he here we only show you two ways to add trace point. Uh, the first one is manually added with um, um, uh, at the start of the function and the end of the function. Uh, you can see here the point name and any key value that you want to lock to a web file. And um, with the corridor, uh, you can uh, trace uh, from uh, this just the start of the function and a web file will do all the thing you want. And there's mm, the more way to add trace point to uh, to to, to your open stack service you can see in uh, the documentation uh you can uh, trace uh, your class uh, even uh, even with your meta class too so uh, currently uh, os file supports a lot of uh, back end driver such as uh, messaging um with uh, rapid and queue we are also messaging by default and Silometo and store straight to Panko. Uh, actually, this one uh, will be replicated in the future. Um, and Redis, MongoDB, Elasticsearch, and Log Inside. And the last one I want to talk about um, here is uh, Tracker Chasing. Um, it it's, um, uh, has been done in a uh, rocky cycle. So uh, the next thing I want to talk is uh, some configuration, uh, if you want to enable a web file in your open stack, uh, you, you just add this uh, section to uh, your, um, um, this section to your uh, service configuration, such as Nova or the Glance, uh, with some information, uh, such as uh, enable to, uh, to, to, to mark that uh, uh, we will enable a web file in your open stack service. And if you want to chase your SQL and can be a call. Um, yeah. You will enable it. Uh, actually, by default, we disable it uh, because it generates a lot of chase. And uh, the SMAC key mm, uh, to make sure that which client is called to your um, OpenStack service. I will talk about this later. And the connection string here to show that a weak driver back end we want to store the trace. Uh, in this case, uh, I threw Redis. And for this configuration, I have uh, a simple command that I showed you earlier. Uh, with uh, open stack image list, uh, you add, you can see uh, I add some, I add some uh, argument OS profile with the um, HMAC key here. And beside the information that um, you familiar with, uh, OS Profiler provides some information related to uh, the trace ID or software ID for open tracing based driver. In this case, it is a uh, um, drug tracing. You can use this ID to search in, uh, in this case, uh, in uh, drug UI dashboard. And uh, if you want to generate an HTML representation of uh, uh, this chase, you can uh, type this command to your uh, CLI. And I will show you an example of this. This, this is um, an example of uh, the image I showed you earlier. Um, 
such as uh, this one. Um, at each point, OS will collect some information about your uh, service, uh, such as the query and the method and uh, uh, the path to your service. And also, it's a trace the duration uh, in a millisecond. That's a, a this request span in in a glance WSGI. So back to the presentation. Okay, and also. We can store trace with uh, Jagger tracing. Just um, chain uh, the connection string here to uh, the URI of Jagger agent. And uh, I will demo to you uh, this one. So, um, uh, in this demo, I will show you some config and uh, cre how to create a trace and uh, view a trace in uh, Jagger tracing. I have a uh, virtual machine here. Yeah. So, with this simple command, yeah, just enter and wait a moment. Yeah, it shows the some information the same with the uh, I showed you earlier, and you can see in Jagger. Yeah, there's a new trace here. Click to it, and uh, information show the same as with uh, the HTML you, s you see earlier. There are lots of information that you can sh see here. So, and uh, the duration of, uh, of call, um, that's a request in uh, its service. I will show you a query, just a big query. Yep. It's like um, DB statement here, you can see. The complete query for you guys to debug or RCA. Also, it will show some uh, dependency. Oh, just, <laughs> I'll show you later. And for the configuration, um, you only have to add this section to uh, your service configuration. So it will enable OS OLA for you. And after that, restart the service and you have uh, anything you want to do. So back to the presentation. Okay. Uh, here we we'll talk uh, uh, the next slide. Okay, so uh, we already demo for you, for you uh, about uh, the process of generating the trace, uh, viewing the reason in the HTML, and uh, also the viewing the reason uh, via the Jacker backend. Uh, but for uh, some another reason that you want to to deep dive or, or some to analyze this, so we already implement the the, the feature to uh, represent it uh, on the reason in the dot uh, dot graph uh, as the uh, showing in the screen here. Um, uh, yeah, uh, in uh, in the previous demo demonstration, uh, we also show you the DAG, the direct ac acrylic graph that show you the dependency between the uh, microservice in uh, OpenStack. And uh, as in showing in the slide here, you can see the uh, from Nova API to the Nova Console or to the Glen API. Uh, here is the dependency between the graph uh, between the service and uh, uh, the number here state the uh, um, total request that we already collect via the trace uh, after adding the the H key. And uh, uh, for some reason, you see that uh, we need to manually config uh, adding the H key, enable the uh, OS profiler in uh, on the service uh, 
uh, yeah, manually. So uh, in some uh, scenario that you want to automatically ben benchmark for your cloud, the OpenStack cloud, uh, the community already implemented the feature to in integrate with the Rally framework for uh, benchmarking at the service. And uh, you can enable the scenario here and uh, adding the edge marking and run the uh, benchmark scenario and uh, capturing all the output uh, from uh, uh, from OS profiler. And um, uh, here's the reference uh, referen link to the Rally doc that uh, how to uh, enable and uh, profiling the OS profiler via the Rally. And um, uh, as uh, some, some of you can ask, what is the edge marquee that uh, we, we already use? So the edge marquee, uh, you, you can use edge marquee as the secret key to identify uh, what kind of client uh, to send the request. And uh, for the chain of service that you enable in the, in the OpenStack, for example, you can enable the chain from Nova to Clans to Keystone via uh, edge marquee A. Uh, you, you can enable the, the chain from the Nova to only the Keystone via the HMARKI B. And when the, when the, when the client uses the HMARKI B, say, they only see the trace or the, uh, the, the reason trace uh, from the, only from uh, Keystone, uh, Nova to Keystone as you config. So uh, OS profiler use the HMARKI, uh, that's for the identifier. And um, for the future development, we are uh, uh, want to firstly uh, supporting more backend for the trace database. Right now, uh, in the Rocky cycle, we are, uh, we only support uh, the Jacker tracing from the uh, open tracing uh, from the cloud native version. But uh, in the future, maybe another there are another trace database that we can support as the, the line Deepkin from Twitter or Live Step. And uh, yeah, for reducing the time for manually config uh, the OS profiler, uh, uh, we want to uh, adding the mutable configuration from the Oslo. Uh, project uh, for changing the own the configuration without restarting and the open stack service. So you just train the configuration and uh, uh, sending some signal and then the, the your service can uh, auto reload. And um, for continuous tracing, we want to trace automatically without typing the command uh, uh, with the integration with the mutable configuration. And uh, the last thing uh, that we adopt from uh, Zipkin or the Zucker is uh, implementing the sampling uh, probability and uh, rated or adaptive to reduce the overhead. Uh, we that uh, already done some benchmarking for, for calculating the overhead while uh, integrating OS profiler into OpenStack Cloud. So the total number of overhead can uh, vary from the 5% to 5% uh, uh, to uh, over 15% uh, yeah, for the Mm, memory footprint or the CPU. So with the sampling rate or to config the probability in the uh, inside uh, how to how we can capture filtering the trace reason or the spanning. So uh, we hope that we can reduce the uh, the, the total overhead. And that uh, as uh, being said in the previous slide, we uh, by default we disable the. Uh, tracing via uh, the SQL Alchemy because it can generate a lot of trace and cause the performance overhead too much. And yeah, that's all for our session. So, any question for him? Yes. Uh, you, you can go to the mic here. I have a question with uh, any link this in production environment. So if you have a uh, HMAC key specified in in the config, but um, that's like a secret and nobody knows that secret, and um, is there any overheads with en just enabling one secret? Um, you can enable um, as much secrets as you want. And um, uh, with an X key, you can generate trace of a uh, um, service that you uh, that's key early, and you do not have to um, to care about it more. So, so there's no overheads for normal requests. Um, yeah, actually, it have a overhead. E even with the HMAC key is not specified in the normal yeah. request, there is still yeah. overhead. Yeah. Yes, okay. they have overhead. Thank you. Uh, 
uh, basically we inject some metadata into the request to the WSDI, HTTP, or uh, DB. So we, uh, the overhead causing here is uh, firstly because the number of the trace, and the secondly is uh, the size of the request because uh, based on the edge marking, we uh, you need to inject some uh, trace ID into the the request, and um, this is the reason why uh, it causing the overhead uh, of the, about the OS profiler performance. Would it be possible to use this as a, a way to do uh, SFA monitoring of uh, calls into the OpenStack framework, or would the overhead be too much? Uh, sorry. Would 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 this uh, would OS Profiler be a tool for uh, monitoring uh, latency in API calls, so that you can enforce uh, self-set uh, service level agreements about how fast the infrastructure should respond, or is that too heavyweight for this purpose? Uh, no, it's not the, the tool for monitoring, uh, and nor for the uh, civilization agreement, because uh, for the uh, SOA, you, if you add uh, OS, enable OS profiler, it can cause some overhead, and so it affects your SOA. Uh, by the way, uh, firstly, the OS profiler, the name is for profiling. That's why we call it the OS profiler. And then uh, after discussing with uh, the community member and uh, another like open tracing community, we, we saw that uh, we can follow in the way like Deepkin or, or, or like Step. So basically, the OS profiler is just for benchmarking and root cow analysis. And uh, if you can see here, the uh, it can be uh, used at the root cow analysis. So, uh, for example, in the demo here, uh, if the request from the user to the end uh, line is the, it read the keystone database here and it can re return the response to the end user, so we mark it uh, at the green. But if some, something happened, for, for example, the database timeout or you lost some connection or, or your code caused some bug, and the last, re the last tray uh, displaying here will have the red color. And for, for, uh, for any request that can cause you some trouble and you want to debug or finding the root cause, or you can look at the trace and finding the, the last trace in the, in the result. And um, it, it will show you the, default, uh, the information about the request or about the exception inside here. Uh, yeah, the exception here. But uh, this is the, the good, so no problem request. Is there any integration plan with external tool? Yeah, like by example, if you have some middleware who call OpenStack and is already open tracing compliant, so you can follow your request from the middleware then into OpenStack and have a complete workflow uh, and not only the OpenStack port? Uh, currently, uh, we do not have a uh, thing like that. However, uh, in community, we see uh, one guy do things like that, uh, send requests from, request from others' uh, system to OpenStack and trace is for, with uh, open tracing and in uh, OpenStack, he trace is with OS provider and return back to uh, outside with open tracing. Yeah. However, we, we do not have it yet, just community do that. Okay, uh, any question? Uh, so, thank you. So we you will have around uh, ten minutes for the lunch, and uh, yeah, thank you for the attending this session. Thank you. Thank you.